Alongside Richard Prosser here, I'm Josh Lactus, here to talk about Big East breakdowns. And this week, we're going to be going over the Providence Friars. Last year, Providence went 13-13, and 9-10 and 10 in Big East play, losing to DePaul in the first round of the Big East playoffs. This year, Providence comes into the year ranked 7th in the preseason poll in the Big East. Providence lost a lot of their team this year, but it all really comes in the form of one player, that being David Duke. David Duke was their star player last year and was an all Big East second team nomination as a junior. He put up 16.8 points per game as well, and he went undrafted to the NBA and was signed by the Brooklyn Nets. So that's a big piece of their team that is now gone. Now you look at the key additions for the team, and it mostly comes in the form of transfers. You have Al Durham, who's a 6'4 guard, transferring over from Indiana, where last year he put up 11.3 points per game, shooting 38% from three. He could be a very good addition in the front, in the backcourt, for Providence. And then you look at Justin Minaya, a 6'6 wing, who put up 7.6 points per game throughout his career in South Carolina. Then, of course, you look at the recruiting class. They have the 10th ranked recruiting class in the Big East. Two three-star guys are coming into the program. And looking at who the Friars are bringing back, we got to start with Nate Watson. Last year, he was named on the Big East second team, averaging 17 points and 7 rebounds per game. His persistence on the inside gives his ability to seal out defenders and score at the cup. He also has great hands, which is a key strength for a big man in today's game with the high-flying up-and-down offense. Watson this year looks to knock off Zach Fremantle of Xavier for the best big in the Big East. Another player to look at is A.J. Reeve. He's a 6'6 guard who averaged 10 points per game last year. He's a player who looks to score the basketball. A high-volume shooter with a low shooting percentage hurts his overall production, but coming into his senior year, I'm sure his shooting numbers will just go up, making him even scarier. Looking at how UConn matches up, we know Nate Watson's going to be a troublemaker, but UConn has the interior size that's going to be able to slow him down. A Cook a Cook, Adama Sanogo, and Isaiah Willey are all going to be thrown at Watson in order to slow him down, and if we slow down Watson, it's going to be a sure win for the Huskies. So that was the Providence Friars, but next week me and Richard are going to be going over the Seton Hall Pirates.